Hello and welcome back to Victoria 2 Brilliant Belgium. So, we were about to go and have a look at who we can attack, well, um, potentially attack. Uh, I do want to improve relations with the UK and Russia, but um, before we do that, I do want to have a look at this. So, we're looking for people who aren't in sphere of influences and whose names we don't necessarily recognize, like Württemberg. They're, they're, they're friendly. So, does that say Al? They're discredited. So, if we go to Württemberg here. I have no idea where they are. Are they like... That's Baden... Wur Württemberg, right? They're allied with Austria and Bavaria. Okay. Or maybe we want to look for someone who's further away. But we're looking for someone we, who we can pick on. Uruguay is ours. Uh, two Sicilies. Um, that is over here. They're currently at war with France, but they have no allies. They also don't have a military that looks very strong. What does France want to do in their war? That's interesting. Of submission. Does that mean that they want to just take all the land? No, they want to add the two Sicilies to the sphere of influence. Hmm. That doesn't sound like a good potential for us. That seems like somewhere that would be bad if we want to stay friends with France. Uh, sphere of influences. Uh, Tibet. Allied with the Chinese Empire. Okay. Oh, we can see allied with here. Interesting. So Yunnan. That seems like an all right. Substate of the Chinese Empire. Okay. I guess the Chinese Empire is done differently than other places then? Okay, interesting. Civilized nation. Satellite of Belgium. Secondary power. Civilized nation, no allies. Uh, where is Trans, uh, Transval? Okay. Transval. Okay. It's down here. So we could potentially get get that land down there. That doesn't look like any problem at all to take, actually. That looks real easy, especially if we called Portugal in. I just want to see what our options are. We could conquest. The problem is we get so much infamy from that. Make Puppet also gives us infamy. Yeah. It's just trying to find things that don't give us inf uh, like a lot of uh, infamy. Oh, two Sicilies accepted a peace offer. They're now in France's sphere. Okay, so they're effectively with us now. That's fine. Uh, what's this? Military access for the UK. Call ally from France. You're at war with the UK, Denmark, and the North German Federation. What did you do? The Franco-Prussian War. Between France, Russia, Luxembourg, Papal States, and Sardinia, Piedmont, United Kingdom, North German, and Denmark. I think we say yes. Even, yeah, I think we definitely say yes, right? Because France, Russia, plus many others. What is it? France, Prussia. No, France, Russia. Um, Papal States, which are fairly strong by the looks of it. Sardinia, Piedmont, which isn't. And Luxembourg, which isn't. I think this is the Papal States. Yeah, so they're, 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 they're reasonable. Are we okay with this? Uh, yeah. I don't really want to be in the war. But I also want to keep France as an ally. We'll proceed. That's going to get some good points with France. Russia, for an alliance, we're now, we're now actually, you know, in the same war. Nope, okay, that's fine. We could subsidize France as well. We could offer 95 a day to subsidize them. That could help quite a lot. They are mobilizing. That pretty much says to me that we should be mobilizing. Um, okay, we'll mobilize. Uh, our people who are over in Africa are immediately going to go attack into um, like the UK bit. Oh, wait, are they? No, I might try and run away. Just stay where you are, right? Well... We might want to move to hills. Yeah, if we move to mountains, that's probably going to be our best shot and get a di just dig in in the mountains. Okay. Continue grabbing our men together. Um, we'll get the mobilized men together. That's fine. Uh, Yuska has gone bankrupt. Uh, Yuska being over here, I think. Yeah. Uh, they're in the sphere of the USA, so no. Okay. 
continue merging up. Let's get our 15s. This is like our weak army. How are the 15 down here looking? Oh, I thought that was an army there. That's their boats. Okay. That's a fine place for our boats to be, to be honest with you. We have a lot to mobilize. Um, Engineer Siege, Dragoon Reconnaissance went up. And our digging camp uh, went up. That's nice. So Dini and Piedmont want uh, access, definitely. We'll get some more tactics, that's good. Uh, right. You go to Brussels now. Merge up that army there. Our good army is going to march its way over as well. Will our good army be the one that takes the brunt of any initial attack? Or our good armies, I should say, because we have multiple ones in here. Um, let's have a look here. Is this our best leader? We would lose prestige if we switch, but I think it's worth just having a look. Four attack, definitely. We could attack in with an unreasonable large number of men, but they, Prussia also have an unreasonably large number of men nearby. Well, what was Prussia? You're, you're going to arrive there on the 31st. I think we join in that fight. Luxembourg are pieced out. Pause, 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 pause. All right. Want to attack in like this, I think. I think this is good. I could be wrong. We now have 35 in here. Okay. That's alright. We're gonna have another 24 joining to back up. Okay. Our 24 four join. We now have 53 against them. We don't have a lot. They have more artillery, but we have more men. We're probably gonna be flanking them occasionally, because we have more. Overall, we have worse military commanders, so it's pretty much like our numbers versus their actual skill. I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, we appear to be winning. We are cutting them down to size. They ran away. They lost 28... We lost 28,000 men. They lost 19,000 men. Not ideal, but okay. We're definitely going to attack the ones that are in our territory and wipe them out. I 100% going to wipe them out. Um, yeah, our four attack leader pretty much takes away our negatives on this one. So it's 34 versus, like, a very small number. So they look, we're losing actually even numbers on that one, which wasn't great. They're running to Manstrick. Um, can I have military access? They will not accept. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I do want to head down and help. I want to actively help in this war. How's it looking over here? Britain are leaving us alone. Uh, that's fine. They're not very bright, and they have a lot of wars, so. Uh, I want to head down to this war. I want to help out. Luxembourg. Oh, see you later, war. We're going to attack the one in Liège. France accepted the peace offers. Um, liberate Alsace Lyon, uh, Lorraine. Oh, right. So, North German Federation won, and France gave up. You know what? Fine by me. Demobilize. It was a good test of our strengths. Um, yeah. I think we'll go with that. Tuscany are afraid. Okay. Um, right. Russia? We just had a war together? You want an alliance? No. Okay. Well, we'll improve relations again. Hey, Britain? We just fought against each other. I think that one's dead forever. Okay. That's fine. We're okay. Uh, factory costs have gone down again. We're just gaining more money than I could ever spend, which is just fantastic. Um, do you want to build forts everywhere? Does forts actually help? I mean, we don't... How much does it cost? It doesn't cost that much. It does also need things to be made to fulfill it, but that's fine. I just want to, like, expand our fort line. Like, is that a problem? Just do, like, a mass spending to get all of what we need. Yeah, I'm going to expand all forts and, like, over here. Let's see how much that costs us. It's going to cost us a lot. It costs us a lot straight off the bat. But, you know, it's fine. It's going to take us a while. But I think it might actually be worth it to build forts. Just to make it so that it's harder to siege our land. Um, army professionalism still going up. Um, uh, Egyptian-Austrian relations are good. Okay. Sure. Don't really care. Uh, we can feed the poor or we can lose militancy. Definitely losing that militancy. 
We got army professionalism, so more morale. We take even more morale and military tactics here, or we can go into something like organization. Let's go for more base organization. Let's go for that. Um, I do want to attack Morocco. We can justify our war. They're now protect. They're now in the sphere of the UK. Okay. So there's not a lot we can do with that. That's just a a complete loss. Okay. That's fair. Um, are we any closer to getting this? Um, like to getting this ability to? Uh, where am I? Breach loaded rifles. Colonial negotiations. So yeah, no neighboring country has it yet either. So nobody can get this land until probably 1870. But we'll see. A great power might be able to grab it earlier. Um, we are making more money. General Leopold I is dead. Oh no. I'm truly upset. Uh, I think I have auto assign on them. So that's fine. Don't need to worry about it. Our population is actually doing really well. Yeah. Uh, we got mobilization impact has gone down. That's good. Uh, we do have some backup regiments right now. Uh, factory cost and farming output have both ch uh, like changed a lot, so we're going to make more money. Moldovia has some fears. Everyone's pretty much happy here. That's good. I like how it's like they, they have all their life skills. They have all their everyday skills, and then there's like a very small amount who are like, oh, we, don't, we have none of their needs. 1%. I don't really know why. Okay, anyway. Uh, Russia? Do you want to be pals? Nope. Okay, improve relations. I mean, it took Portugal a while as well before they were willing to accept us. Luxembourg are still us, ours, aren't they? Yeah, they're still, they're still friends with us. Okay. Um, I always feel like we should be expanding more. We, our infamy has dropped down to a level where I think that we can. Okay, look for people who aren't in spheres. We're not like, we're not punching above our weight. Sweden? Not allied with anyone? By the looks of it. Not allied with anyone. Ooh. Okay. We would need two military accesses to get there. Hmm. It's, it's just like, that's a tempting one. It's like, we could attack them with France backing. I don't know. I think it's maybe, again, I don't want to go too far. Like, we've been punished too many times. Chinese Empire. Right, here's one. China does not look amazingly strong right now. Like they do, look, they have a lot of military, but if they are still an uncivilized nation, which I think that they are, yeah. I, which one is China? Oh, they're they're all China. It's like they're they're like all joined into one empire in a weird way. Like they've done much. Oh, there we go. Substate of the Chinese Empire. They yeah, they have two hundred and six thousand uh, troops. Um, wait, so they're, yeah, they're all uncivilized, though. So they're not as good at fighting as we are? I don't know, there's a temptation there that perhaps we could, um, attack them. We would have to go all the way there by ourselves. We don't have the naval, the, the naval power to do that. We could build some navies. That's probably worth doing, like, anyway. Like, clipper transports, probably. Well, what do we need? Or we could build frigates. Let's build five frigates in Africa and, f and one frigate in Europe. Okay. Japan? Japan is allied with Korea. Uncivilized nation, uncivilized nation. Low military score on that one. Korea is allied with Japan and... I don't know. I'm trying to find somebody who looks like a good target. A lot of people are almost there. Uh, Kakand is near Russia somewhere. It's probably in here. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult one to get military access through. Persia? Allied with Kokan and, pa and Panjab? Panjab are fairly strong. Kokans are not. They would be an alright target, actually. We want to get some land there. Same with someone like Oman. They're, al they're, a they're allied with Abu Dhabi. Who are, again, not very strong. That seems like a good target. Oman. Try and get that bit... Bit of land, to try and expand over there. Alright, what could we do? We could demand a concession, that's five. Or we could conquest. Or liberate a country. Uh, what's liberate? Manu uh, manufacture, so I guess that means that we're just gonna, f like, make them free? Um, 
Yeah, we're going to demand a concession over there on a man. And that seems like a reasonable war. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. We want a war that we can win ourselves, basically. Ooh, more elections. We're detected. We got some infamy. But we're well under the infamy limit, right? Well under. Uh, yeah. We're, we're good. 16. Like, we wouldn't want to go any further. But I think we're good with 16. We could declare the war at the end. We have no research set. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll get factory input stuff there. That's good. We were losing some money there for a second, but that's because we decided to buy all those boats. Um, everyone's for residency of citizenship policy. Um, sure. I don't know what it does, so we'll vote with our party that seems to be leading the country in the right direction. Military organization has gone up. I like it. I like it. Um, awesome in Africa. Wait, are they expanding in? They've, they've gone in. This must be land that they've actually moved into, which means that somebody has the tech. Right? Um, none of our neighboring countries do, but some, like the Ottomans, have that tech now. Interesting. Mission to Oman. It's gone, it's slowed down. Heated debate. Uh, protection. Uh, we're, we're all, we're for the one that doesn't give militancy, aren't we? Yeah. We don't really care in the debate, just as long as it doesn't give militancy. Um, Revolution Uruguay? Okay. Is Algeria somewhere? They're in France's sphere. Okay. The United Kingdom and Sikkim are at war. Okay. We're continuing to make lots of money. We also have a lot more ships being built all over the place. That's fine. We'll, we'll get them all merged when we're done. Uh, oh, the election's finished. The Conservatives and Reactionary Parties got a coalition. That's slightly different than usual, but... It's fine. Pretty much. Oh, we have more things that we could potentially go for. All of which we still don't actually have anything. Uh, cooperative industrialism. Um, I still don't have an idea what any of these do or why we would want them. Like, it doesn't tell. If it doesn't tell you what they do... Oh, this one doesn't actually tell you what they do. No, this is what happens if you click on any of these. Um, oh, right. Oh, there we go. It tells you what it does below. So that means that our cultural tech research go quicker. These are all just tech research changes. That says perform nationalization. Um, I guess that's if we have foreign investment. I don't know how we would even work that out. And then we get diplomatic mission under siege event. And France hates us. I don't think that's quite where we want to head right now. We're still fairly weak, like, overall. Okay, we got Cassus Belly. On Oman. Oman have like no military. Do we want to wait for our fleets to finish? Our fleets have finished pretty much actually. Yeah. Um, yeah I can do that. And then I can select that one as well. Uh, I'm going to move them all over to this one. There we go. Get them all moved over. And then I think we'll declare war on Oman. That should be good. Right, mobilization size has changed. Merge all of them. That that's, that's our full navy that we've got, all six of them. Uh, how is Oman's navy? I haven't, I didn't check that. Is there a way of checking it? Oh, it's it. When we went onto the China screen, when we did this, it shows you the breakdown. They probably, do, they have two ships. Okay. They're allied with Abu Dhabi, who has zero ships. Yeah, okay. Seems like we could probably manage. It, it could still only carry three weight because we only... Oh, because they're all frigates and the, only the clipper transports can actually carry anything. That's fine. Oh, Russia. Uh, let me improve relations with you. There we are. Uh, Oman. I would like to declare a war for a demand concession. Do you want uh, Mogadishu or Lamu? Which one's which? I kind of want the one that's next to Abu Dhabi. So whichever one that is. Uh, I'm trying to see if it's where it says. I might be crazy. Look at this shoe. Um, it doesn't say anywhere, does it? Or is it Obadashu or... Wait, oh, Oman has expanded out here. Oh, so we could take like Kenya from that point. I see, Oman is a 
Okay, it's a primitive nation, but it does have... Okay. That's fine. Or Somaliland. Okay, so reading the top one. So we could take that one or that one. Well, let's not take the one next to Portugal. Let's take the one a little bit further along. Yeah, okay. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. I was like, where are these parts in their country? But from Morocco when we did it, it's because they didn't have any foreign holdings from their mainland. We were able to just go directly for them. Yeah. It'll cost one war score. Uh, Luxembourg and France would accept, but like, there's no reason to, right? What's the Clara War? We need one war score. So, um... Uh oh, we have two armies there? Okay. Merged, uh, we'll put as many as we can on the boats, and then... Hey, I want you to head all the way around to the war goal. Hopefully we survive. Actually, you know where I want you to head? I want you to head here. Uh, and actually we can get the remainder of our ships here as well. That's fine. Uh, we don't care at all about that religion. We got that event earlier. That's fine. Merge that uh, navy together. We have a little bit of naval power, not a lot. Okay. I really don't want to lose all of our navies. Uh, our generals are dying. Like, uh, pace, but that's fine. We are actually supporting our navies now, which is a change from where we were. Okay, so we want to go all the way around. I selected the armies again. There we go. We want to go all the way around here. Uh, we can probably drop off in Lamau first. Or Lamu. That's fine. Um, wonder when if we can just add war goals to this. That would probably give us infamy. But I'm wondering whether it's worth it. Let's see. Flu pandemic. One treasury. Definitely. Oh man. Um, we can't add a war goal. Because, yeah, we just can't. We're not at a stage where that's available. Hopefully we don't lose our entire fleet that we just paid for. That would be pretty bad. Um, we are low in strength, but that's fine. Uh, carry weight, get off here. There we go. Please make it back. Oh, it's one of our clipper transports isn't going to make it. It's, it's dead. Right? 2% pretty much Dean's dead. That goes to zero. I assume that that transport is no more. Uh, we won the battle there. I didn't even realize there was one. We took 81 casualties. They took 3,000. Okay. Are we doing well? We are going to survive. Okay. Civil violence. Uh, we can either intervene and the populations are changed by quite a lot down. Or, we can get, or they can gain consciousness. No, no consciousness. Goodbye population. Um, oh, we have tech. <laughs> I wonder how much tech we've lost over the course of this game by just not clicking on it. Um, prestige gain we could increase, I suppose. Let's let's increase it. No, it's fine. If we ever want to be a great power, that seems reasonable that we need it. We lost two of our clipper transports. Uh, we might want to build some more. Clipper transports? Let's, uh, let's build a bunch. There we go. So how are we doing? We won that. I was, uh, so we have the war goal, uh, like we ha have all we need. We could negotiate. They won't accept, though. We're going to get the war goal as well. There we are. Siege that down. Prestige gains are going up. Oh, wow. No, it's just because we're researching it so quickly that it just disappears. Okay. Um, we could get more research, more gains there. Uh, reinforcements, maybe? I don't know. Education efficiency could be good. Just continue pushing into that. It's going to take a little bit longer to research, although we apparently have so many research points that that's fine. Yep, whatever. Trouble is brewing. It seems the Russian Empire has decided to back Greece in the current crisis. There's a crisis? Diplomatic tension has caused an international crisis in Thessala. Okay. Um, uh, we've got more tax efficiency and more defense. What's the crisis? Interesting. The fears of Wartenberg, all, all sorts of new stuff. Um, so if we go to... Crisis is at a temperature of 1. There are people who are still on the fence. So this is a crisis of the return of Greece's rightful territories. So. The Russian Empire are backing Greece and acquiring Thessala from the Ottoman Empire. There are people who are not sure about who they want to support right now. Looks like most people... 
So it looks like Spain and Austria are on Russia's side. UK is on Ottoman side, it said there. As is the North German Federation. And France is on the Russian side. So that'd be France, Spain, Austria, and Russia versus the UK and the North German Federation. Which means we're going to be against those two. That's going to be difficult. It, there could be a diplomatic solution, though. In theory. But still. <laughs> yeah, okay. There could be a war in about two years' time. Uh, Russia? Do you want that alliance yet? I'm still pushing for it. They will not accept. Well, you know what? Here you go. Have a little bit more. Um, we have now siege the war goal. Hey, oh man. You want that piece? They will accept. We can't add a war goal. Because we don't have enough support. So you know what? We'll just peace out. I want this. They would accept this offer. Nice. This is now ours. It's a little bit further away. But it's ours. That's good. Um, we can't expand into anywhere nearby still. Although it's closer than some of the others were. In terms of uh, the amount of life we need. Um, but we still need the exact same tech. Uh, clergymen here. Um, bureaucrats have been doing work in these other ones. Uh, let's move the bureaucrats from Telemkin somewhere else. We'll move the cl clergymen from Telemkin over here. I have no idea if this is the right thing to do. But we'll move clergymen over here. Clergymen seem to be going up fairly quickly, so that's good. Right. Um, I think we're going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.